From M&S to Lidl, your supermarket of choice can be the subject of hot debate between friends. While your preferred brand of chicken goujons or sliced bread is totally subjective, one thing we can compare side by side are the different loyalty schemes on offer. So to help you find the best deals and discounts on your next shop, here's our rundown of six of the top supermarket loyalty schemes. Available as both a physical and digital card, the good old Tesco Club Card is a points-based scheme offering one point for every one pound spent in-store and online across food, clothing, Tesco bank cards and Tesco mobile. You'll also be able to earn one point for every two pounds spent on fuel. One point is worth one penny, so for every 50 pound shop you do, you'll earn 50p in points. Every time you rack up a total of 150 points, they automatically get converted into a one pound 50 voucher which you can then spend at Tesco or one of its rewards partners. For example, you could exchange your club card points for Virgin points and use them to get money off trips and travel. Or trade six pounds worth of vouchers for three months of Disney Plus. Club card carriers are also entitled to cheaper prices across a range of products in the store. Although a cynic might argue that Tesco have just upped prices for non-club card members. For even more discounts at Tesco, you could upgrade to Club Card Plus for $7.99 a month. Club Card Plus gets you 10% off groceries in-store twice a month, 10% off f and Tesco's clothing line, plus even more perks. And there's a free monthly trial if you want to give it a go before you commit. Unlike Tesco's points-based scheme, Co-op membership is a cashback reward scheme, which pops 2p into your membership account for every one pound you spend when you scan your card at the till. They'll also donate the same amount to community organizations and local causes. So with this scheme, you'd earn one pound cashback on a 50 quid shop, and at the same time, donate one pound to support a local cause. You can then spend the cashback on tons of products at Co-op, or you could choose to donate your rewards. As a Co-op member, you'll also get exclusive member deals and discounts, as well as weekly personalised offers and discounts across the Co-op family businesses, including insurance, funeral care and legal services. This loyalty scheme will cost you £1 to sign up. Not all co-op branches belong to the same scheme. For example, Southern Co-op has its own one, so check in advance with your local store. I personally am an m and Sparks card carrier, but I find their scheme a little bit lacking. Let me explain. A few years back, m and swapped their points-based scheme for a reward scheme, which gives some lucky customers the chance to win gifts, giveaways, and their whole shop for free. You can earn different amount of Sparks, m and version of points, for different things. For example, you'll earn 10 Sparks every time you spend one pound, and 25 Sparks every time you write a review. Sparks don't have a specific monetary value. m and basically just say that the more Sparks you have, the more benefits you'll receive. And that 3,000 Sparks will get you fast track access to the latest products, and 5,000 Sparks allows you to queue jump in the m and sale. So if we take your 50 quid shop as an example, you could earn 500 Sparks for each one pound spent, plus an extra 10 Sparks for simply shopping at m and totaling 510 Sparks. That might feel like a lot, but who knows what that actually means in pounds and pennies. With Sparks, you'll get personalised offers based on what you buy, and m and will also donate to your chosen Sparks charity every time you shop and scan your card. Nice incentives, but unless you're one of the lucky few who actually win one of those bigger bonuses, the Sparks card doesn't offer much on a week-to-week -week basis. The iconic purple and yellow Nectar card is available both as a physical and digital card and will earn you one point for every one pound spent. In recent years, Nectar halved the value of their points, so one Nectar point is worth 0.5p and you'll need a minimum of 500 points, the equivalent of £2.50, on your card to be able to start spending them. In the context of your 50 quid shop, which would earn you 50 Nectar points or 25p, you'd need to do 10 of these shops to be able to start spending those precious points. You'll get points boosters from time to time, for example, triple points for buying petrol at a Sainsbury's petrol station. The good news is you can also earn and spend Nectar points at over 300 brand partners, including Argos, The Sky Store and Expedia. And in January 2022, Nectar introduced its Nectar Donate feature, which allows you to use your points to donate to a charity of your choice. Donations must be a minimum of 200 points, which is the equivalent of one pound cash. 
Lidl Plus is the app-based reward scheme from Lidl. With this scheme, you'll get weekly coupons, prizes and discounts every time you shop. Your £50 shop will earn you a coupon for a free in-store bakery item. £100 will earn you a £2 off coupon. £150 earns you a free item from Lidl's W5 cleaning products range. And a £200 spend gets you a coupon for 10% off your next shop. You can also unlock loads of extra discounts and coupons by the app through Lidl's partner offers. At the time of filming, deals included up to 40% off cinema tickets with the Cinema Society, up to £150 off holiday bookings with Love Holidays, and a £25 Little Plus coupon when you switch broadband. Little also has this thing called a welcome card, also known as a freebie card, which gets new members six free items in store over six weeks. Asda Rewards is pretty new to the loyalty scheme scene and is only available in the form of a mobile app. Scan your in-app card every time you shop to make the most of your rewards, which come in three formats. Missions, milestone missions and star products. Missions typically come in the form of buying a certain number of products within a particular range or spending a minimum amount each month. New milestone missions are unlocked once you've completed one and take the form of, say, spending over £50 on your cumulative shops. Star products are updated in the app regularly and give your rewards balance a boost when you buy specific products. Any rewards you earn get added to your cash pot balance, which can be converted into vouchers to spend at Asda. In terms of monetary value, your rewards will vary. A generic mission like buying three Kellogg's brand cereals, for example, will earn you £1 in your cash pot. Hitting that 50 quid milestone mission will earn you £1.50, and most of the star product rewards come in the form of 10%. So if you bought a selected product for 10 quid, £1 would get added to your cash pot. For more information and to check out our supermarket stats page, visit finder.com by clicking this link here. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and be sure to hit that bell button to be the first to know when a new video drops. Thanks for watching.